Hi guys, so this is going to be a Trader Joe's haul. I went to the next town over specifically to go to Trader Joe's and to go run other errands that I cannot go in my town. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So right over here. So first of all, I know everybody and their mom is like posting Trader Joe's fall hauls, you know, all the pumpkin things. To be completely honest, I am pretty picky when it comes to the things that I like that contain pumpkin. So I didn't buy like all of the pumpkin things, but what I bought is what I went in specifically for. So here we go. I just wanted to throw that out there. So the only thing that I bought that was sort of like fall themed, I guess, is this autumn, autumn all? How do you say that? Harvest soup. So it's a creamy tomato base soup with um, pumpkin and butternut squash. Hopefully it's good. It looks pretty good. This I get every single year and this is awesome if you will put it on toast or I specifically put it on like cinnamon raisin bread. I toast it obviously and then spread this and oh it is heaven. I get this every single year. And then starting I guess with the I guess I'll show you the other pumpkin thing and that's about it all as much pumpkin as I got. So the other thing that I got, they have these year round, but the pumpkin is obviously only in like this time of the year, fall season. And it is, this pumpkin walks into a bar and they're just cereal bars and there's six of them. My little one really likes these as well. Last time I got strawberry, but since I just got him some other cereal bars that are strawberry from a different brand, like Nutri-Green, I think they were. Um, I just decided to skip them and just get the um, pumpkin since it's a seasonal thing and they're not there all the time. So everything else is there year round. So this is probably my weakness when it comes to Trader Joe's. I did buy four. These were $1.99, kind of pricey for only six ounces. But this is so, so good. I could literally kill a bag in a sitting, not even joking probably not the best thing for me but they are delicious and I cannot help myself but every time I go I could literally clear them out but I only bought four um and I was literally dying to get some more of these because the other day I was just craving something sweet and I got more so god help me I'm gonna be putting these away and hopefully I'm going to pray that I almost forget where I stashed them away so I don't eat all four bags before the weekend. The other thing that I wanted to try, I don't know if this is seasonal. Hopefully it's not. I had seen this in another somebody else's haul and it just sounded so good. It is the Mexican style um, roasted corn with botija cheese and it just looks delicious. Delicious. So when I saw this, I was like, I want to give it a try. It was a little pricey for only being, what, 14 ounces? Yeah, 14 ounces. This was like just under $4, but I decided to give this a try and hopefully I like it. The other thing I saw in the same haul is the Leafy Greens and Butternut Squash Salad Kit. So it comes with arugula, baby spinach, um, topped with feta cheese, sweetened cranberries, um, dried cranberries and candied um, almonds in a with a balsamic vinaigrette so it just sounded right up my alley probably gonna be the only one eating it with between my two kids they don't eat salad very occasionally my six-year-old will have some salad but he's kind of picky but I don't think that they will eat that but hey more for me so I will gladly eat that for lunch or whatever as a side the main reason that I went is because I was completely out of my Trader Joe's staple. And I know some people are, they either like it or hate it. I happen to love it. Both of my kids will eat it. So that's a win in my house. And it is the Mandarin Orange Chicken. I always try to get at least a couple. I got three of each. This is about $4.99. And I usually make a bag um, if my oldest is not eating, I will make one bag for me and my little one and we still have leftovers for the following day and I ended up eating them as lunch. But if both of my kids are eating, I will make two. Now the rice is a different situation. Although I did buy three packs and three packs of the vegetable fried rice, um, they also have chicken fried rice and I think they also have shrimp. But I always get the um, 
vegetable one. And um, neither of my kids will eat rice, which is kind of sad. I like rice any way you prepare it. I will eat it. But yeah, this is like the main thing that I went because I was completely out. And this is like so easy. I popped this in the, um, it comes with two packs of the sauce. And I usually put this stuff in my air fryer and it comes out super, super crispy. Um, it's delicious. This is like my favorite thing that I go to Costco for. This I have also tried and it's really good. And the cashier was also telling me about another burger that I almost went back because when she was describing the flavors, I almost went back, but I was kind of in a hurry. Um, this is the, the Thai sweet chili veggie burger. Um, so it is a blend of Asian vegetables and rice with Thai sweet chili sauce. There's only four, I think. Yeah, four patties, which this will be all me because last time I bought them, neither of my children ate them. Again, that's okay. Um, but they are so, so good. Like, if you try something, try that. Or if you've never tried the orange chicken, which I doubt because everybody and their mom has tried this and it's a favorite, try that. I totally, totally recommend it. And as you can see, it was not very many things. And literally, this was just under $53. So yeah, I don't go very often. It probably helps that it's not in my town. I do have to drive. Um, so I try to go as soon as I drop off my little one to school and try to kind of hurry up back in town because I don't like to, you know, be away from my kids in case they call me. But um, I try to go probably at least once a month. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.